Let's get to the forecast here tonight. Gorgeous weather today and a repeat for most of the day tomorrow. Yeah, we're enjoying these warmer temperatures. That's for sure. Ryan Breton joining us right now with the forecast tomorrow night could get a little dicey, right? That's right, Ben and Jen. All of this will come to an end by this time tomorrow night. But what a day today was. We had temperatures hitting the mid 70s inland, a little cooler along the shoreline with that sea breeze. But we're going to do even better tomorrow. We start the morning in the 50s to near 60. And as soon as we see some sunshine, the temperatures are going to shift shoot up and we'll get to near record high temperatures in parts of the state, especially inland tomorrow afternoon. However, there is an important difference and we saw that on display today. If you're at the shoreline, the breeze starts coming in off the ocean and that brings in cooler air. So along the shoreline we will only top out in the upper 60s to lower 70s because yeah, Long Island Sound still in the upper 40s to near 50. Here's a look at those high temperatures for tomorrow. You can see where the warmest weather is going to be western and northern Connecticut. And there's no coincidence in the areas that warm up the most tomorrow afternoon. That's where the highest chance for any severe weather will be. The farther, farther west and north you are in the state. This is a look at the Storm Prediction Center's severe outlook for tomorrow. It's a level two out of five risk within this yellow yellow area, meaning some severe storms are likely in this green shaded area. It's a level one out of five risk. So we think that as the storms cross through Connecticut, they'll gradually start to lose their punch. The highest odds of any severe weather will be along and west of say I-91 or along and west of the Connecticut River. Here's a look at when the storms will start to move in. We're in good shape through the morning, early to mid afternoon. It's really any time after about three o'clock and probably peaking around six or seven in most of the state. That's when the bulk of these storms will come through. Right now it's nice and mild 63 in Hartford, 55 in Chester, Groton, the cool spot at 51 and this time of the year on the shoreline in New London County is pretty tough to warm up. But that's for sure. We're quiet right now. A couple of showers nearby and there might be a quick passing shower tonight and then all of this energy to the west is what comes in for tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. So we'll go through this hour by hour six in the morning, maybe a shower or two out there. But look at the difference in temperature 49 in Putnam 60 in Danbury. At that point Danbury is already in what we call the warm sector with clear sky and warm air. Then as we get more sunshine into the afternoon, that's when the temperatures will pop up into the low 80s and then here come the storms by five o'clock entering western Connecticut, 6 o'clock going through the bulk of the state, and then diminishing some toward a late evening. All of this is out of here on Friday, and Friday is cooler, but still mild. We're going from highs in the 80s to highs in the 60s, which, of course, for this time of the year is still a good deal above normal. As for the weekend, maybe a shower or two Saturday afternoon, and then it looks cooler for Easter Sunday. We'll have more coming up at 1030.